Hello, my loves. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome into this video for the new moon in Libra. For those who are new, it's great to have you here. I do have an introductory video if you want to know how to get the most out of these readings. It's not necessary, but it is a wonderful tool for you if you feel called to watching that. For those who are not new, hello and welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. It is a pleasure to be here to support all of you and I'm so excited to get into these readings for this new moon. So let's talk a little bit about what the new moon energy is. So the new moon is when it's a beginning phase. So this is the beginning of the energies of Libra, because the new moon is happening in the sign of Libra. The Libra archetype, as we discussed in the Libra solar readings, if you did not watch your reading for the Libra season, I do recommend going ahead and doing that. There's a lot of valuable information there. You may have more than one reading, and it was just a really fun connection with the Super Attractor deck affirmations. So the Libra archetype, if you didn't watch the Libra solar season readings, is all about balance. It's about relationships, beauty, harmony, and diplomacy. So it's the archetype of the scales. That's the symbol of the Libra vibration. So when we're talking about this newness, this new energy, this new vibration, it's going to be in the realm of the Libra archetype. There's going to be a new balance, new diplomacy, new harmony, new relationships that are going to be supported with this lunar phase. So the lunar phase will go from the time that the new moon happens on September 25th till when the new, next new moon happens on October 25th. So this is the cycle that we're talking about here. So when I say the lunar phase, this is what I'm talking about. The lunar phase that we're in right now is from September 25th to October 25th. So the new moon is going to be happening at 5.54 p.m. Eastern Time. And it's going to be happening in 2 degrees, 49 minutes of Libra. There's going to be two readings for everybody. Their first reading is going to align for where the moon was when you were born. So... On your birth chart, you're going to be looking for this symbol and you're going to be looking for which sign this symbol of the crescent moon is in. If you don't know what I'm talking about, have no fear. I also created a tutorial video for how to find your birth information on astro.com. It's a really powerful tutorial. It is about a 20 minute video, but once you watch it, I feel that you'll be more connected to your chart. You'll be able to look at it with confidence and be able to find some of these things, um, these planets, these orientations that maybe you hadn't known before. If you have questions after you watch that video, please let me know. So you're gonna be watching the video for where your moon was when you were born, and you're going to be watching for the house that Libra, two degrees, 49 minutes, occurs in your chart. Again, if that doesn't make sense, don't worry. I talk about how to read the degree points on a birth chart in this video. So you want to watch these two videos, where the moon was when you were born, where Libra is right now when the new moon happens, because that's the area of our lives that's going to be most affected by this new energy. This Libra archetype is focusing us in this one house, wherever it was when you were born. So this is an important alignment for you as well. Don't worry if you're not in the right video right now, you can go look that up and then go navigate to the right video. You can skip through this introduction because they're all the same. All right. Let me see what else we have here before we dive in. Yes, so if you want to support me, there's many ways to do that. I have a chakra meditation service. It's a weekly meditation on a different chakra every week, and it's only $14.40 a month. It's on the app WhatsApp, so you do have to have that in order to access. 
the meditations. You can sign up at devotedandvulnerable.com slash services, which is also how you can find any of my other services. I am going to be offering individual card readings coming up here soon. So just contact me if you are interested in those. You can also like, comment, and share this video to support me. And you can contribute financially at paypal.me slash devoted vulnerable. Link is in the description if you feel called to offer up a financial contribution for this guidance that's coming through. All right, my loves, let's get into your individual readings. This reading is for you if the moon was in Cancer when you were born and or if two degrees, 49 minutes of Libra shows up in your fourth house. So let's go ahead and get your card here. This is relevant for both of you. If you haven't already taken a few deep breaths, please go ahead and do that. You can call in your support team and I just encourage you to open your heart to receive the guidance that's most aligned and supportive to you at this time. Alrighty. We got Acorn's Invitation and he was reversed. So we're going to read his reversed meaning and message. The theme of Acorn's Invitation is touch, exchange, and connection. Okay. Give me a second here. I don't need to... So this card represents feeling untouched, craving physical contact, sensuality, starved for physical attention, mistrust, fear of physicality, a dislike of the touch of others, feeling uncertain about who to touch, when to touch them, how to touch them, hesitating and allowing yourself to experience the visual pleasure of desire, mm. finding the material unspiritual, resentment of the body and a feeling that touch and physical satisfaction is unspiritual. Wow. This is a powerful message for you. It seems very, very specific. So Acorn's invitation is always the invitation to touch, but he came up reversed, which means that this invitation may be a trigger for you. This is an area of your life that um, there's some hesitation for you. Even if you're not resonating with this right away, um, I would definitely look into whether you um, allow yourself to have physical pleasure, whether or not you think that that's appropriate, and whether or not you think that touch is spiritual or not, right? Um, and whether or not you're giving value, spiritual value, to the realm of sensation and physicality. Because Acorn's Invitation is about the healing of touch and how intimate and beautiful, even Plutonic touch can be. And that is the new energy you're being invited to this lunar phase, a new relationship with physical sensation. One of the first things I want to share with you is just the simple process and practice of touching yourself, of touching your face, of soothing your face, just intimately caressing your own being. Allow yourself to start there because you can get used to what it feels like, what the leaning into it can feel like. And you can allow yourself to really experience touch, but in a safe way, okay? Touching especially the parts of your body that you may not love, right? Allowing yourself to have that physical contact with the parts of you that you've shunned or judged as unworthy. 
And, you know, then you can lead up to perhaps inviting someone in your life that you do feel safe with physical contact with to maybe also caress and touch and you can set a boundary, you know, I need this to be platonic, I need this to be safe and invite them to bring physical contact into your experience. We're going to get specific here with how this applies to the moon alignment. If you're here for the house alignment, just scroll ahead to that part of the video. So the moon was in Cancer when you were born. The moon always represents your emotions and the sign that was that it was in always represents how your emotions express. So your emotions express themselves through the Cancer archetype. Cancer is a water sign. Cancer is the sign of the moon, actually. They're very happy. Um, the moon is very happy in the sign of Cancer because these energies are very linked. Cancer is a water sign, so water is the emotional element of the zodiac as well. It's a fix, it's a cardinal water sign. So it is the beginning of summer. It's an energy that starts things. So it's emotions that start things, essentially. And it has this loyal energy, caring, emotional, responsive, and dependable vibration. It's the archetype of the crab. So it has this tough outer shell and these pinchers that hold on to grudges like forever. But it also on the inside has a soft, squishy interior. When once every, once someone has been allowed into that soft, squishy inner self, um, they're very protected within that person's life. So how does this relate to Acorn's invitation? Well, it feels to me like perhaps you have had some sort of violation within your soft, squishy self, and that has m invited you to put everybody on the outside of your shell and to especially not allow physical contact because it is so intimate, because it is so um, close and um, it can feel unsafe. And the invitation, this lunar phase, is to open yourself up to the physical sensations again. It's almost like you're cutting yourself off from a part of the physical experience, a part of your own journey that is keeping you from experiencing some of the pleasure and joy that you came here to experience, you absolutely deserve to experience, and you're being invited to experience this lunar phase. Like I said in the intro of this reading, touching yourself just on your face, just caressing, or if a more intimate way of doing that feels supportive for you, allowing yourself to be in a safe space where physical contact is happening, um, even if it's just with yourself and then expanding that out if and when you feel comfortable doing that finding a buddy finding somebody who you trust and know will be able to follow your boundaries and listen to when you are being overstimulated and when you need to stop um, yeah I'm just tapping in to see if there's anything else here for you. My beautiful moon in Cancers, you are so sens sensitive. Your sensitivity is a gift to the rest of us. And it feels like you're closed off to the sensitivity, especially in a physical way because of perhaps an indiscretion, um, uh, a harming of your soft interior. It feels like you may have let somebody in who didn't honor you and your physicality. It could also just be you, your own internal voice. You may be beating yourself up for who you are physically and thinking that you're not um, pretty enough or attractive enough to be touched. And it's time to have a new dialogue about that. A new story um, gets to develop from that. Hmm, let's see. Also just moving your body. I'm seeing like yoga poses and maybe like some qigong, which is like more of um, moving energy as you move your body. But some sort of physical practice that also has a spiritual energy to it because that was the other message here was that we're looking at physicality and pleasure as unspiritual. And 
that a spiritual physical movement practice can help get you into your body, can help you feel safer in your body, more empowered in your being, and can also give you that feeling of, well, this is spiritual. This is worthy of um, achieving. I am also going to say that that it's important for you to allow yourself to have pleasure this lunar phase. So that could mean um, definitely physical pleasure, okay? So that could mean sexual release. Um, with yourself is probably the safest uh, and or with a partner if that feels resonant to you. But even just practicing visualizing what a unguilty physical release feels like like a physical release without guilt at all embedded in it what does that just imagining what that experience is can be a powerful way for you to start working with this energy okay feel free to reach out if you have questions if you need further support there's going to be a particular area of your life where this is most applicable that's going to align with where the two degrees 49 minutes which house that shows up for you um, that's going to give you a little bit more information about where in your life this physical relationship needs to be cultivated okay gets to be cultivated and so i invite you into that reading and for now namaste the universal light within me salutes and honors the universal light within you. Namaste. So this new moon is happening in your fourth house. The fourth house, well, the, all the houses represent the where of the zodiac. So this is where this new moon is pinging for you. This is the area of your life that's being brought into the most focus. The fourth house has to do has to deal with home. It's family, ancestry, youth, origins, and nurturing. So this physical touch, this physical pleasure is being, you're being invited to bring that into your home. Yeah, um, which makes sense, totally. Sorry, I'm just tapping in here. Hold on. Hmm. Yes. So with anyone in your home, it's you're being invited to to open up to physical contact and to maybe even start with a hug or a handhold or something that feels very um, safe to you and work your way up from that. You can communicate with the people in your home that this is something that you're working on. Um, you can allow yourself to be nurtured at home as well. Perhaps you need to communicate that there's a need for you to receive um, physical touch and support, uh, physical intimacy. And again, like I said in the general reading, just touching yourself, just allowing yourself to be caressed and letting yourself be supported in your physical pleasure okay even if that just means imagining what it would be like to have physical release that you don't feel guilty about okay even if it's just imagining what that feels like even if you don't actualize it this lunar phase just allowing yourself to imagine it um, may be where you want to start and definitely at home <laughs> which makes sense. Um, if you have kids in your home, definitely being more touching with them. Um, perhaps you need to have a conversation with them about appropriate touch um, and what that feels like and looks like. And maybe it's a journey you explore with your kids. You know, what plutonic, loving, gentle touches are. Like maybe you all just touch yourself first, right? To caress your face, your arms, your legs. Um, obviously this is when working with children, it's a non-sexual touch. Um, but when working with yourself, it may be that. Okay. Um, 
And I said this with the other group, I'm going to say with you, bring some sort of physical movement practice that does have a spiritual nature to it into your home may be very supportive for you as well, because you have this card is indicating a judgment of the physical as non-spiritual. So even like a yoga practice or a Qigong practice where you're moving the energies, where you're getting in touch with your body and feeling the movement of it and releasing the shame of it. Um, can really help you and with it having a spiritual nature to it it can help you to not feel as superficial and unspiritual as this card was indicating there may be the vibration of for you all right fourth housers let me know if you have questions i'll be happy to support you obviously remember that your moon reading was also relevant to this so bring the moon reading that you had into your home as well and as always, namaste. The universal light within me salutes and honors the universal light within you. Namaste.